Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is ATS Tech Talk video. And on today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to add end screen on your PC. And guys, quick information, you can't do this on mobile. If you want to do this on mobile, all you need to do is to go over um, to the um, any browser on your mobile device and then you go to the studio.youtube.com just like I'm doing right now. And then you convert your web browser into a mobile view or into a desktop view and you can be able to um, do the same thing I'm doing right now on your mobile. If not, you are not supposed to do this or you are not supposed to be able to do this on your mobile. So this is my channel. So any video you want to add end screen on, I think actually if you are uploading any video, just add this end screen on top of any video, just about any video. So all I need to do is to click on this content section to go over to my video session. So I'm going to go over to this last video I created and I'm going to click on this pencil icon and I'm going to wait for it to load. It might take a while loading depending on um, the internet speed you have. So once it finish loading, um, you're going to scroll down right here and you're going to notice where it says end screen. I think the um, this video ratio, I edited this video on mobile. So that is the reason why there is no option for end screen. It says for the aspect ratio, end screen is not supported so i'm going to do this on a different video but this is actually where you see your end screen and your cards this is the cards right here so i'm going to go over to a different video to do this all right guys so this is your end screen right here so to add your end screen all you need to do is to click on this pencil icon and quick information guys the reason why the end screen did not show on the other video i selected is actually because um on that particular video i do not have I created that video making use of the portrait mode so the aspect ratio is not big enough to add end screen so it actually has um, a small size to it so these are your end screen when you scroll down you are going to see different formats there are so many formats I like to use this one once in a while and then sometimes I like to use this one right there but do not worry guys anyone you choose is okay so click on this plus icon in the middle and it's going to be updated so when your end screen has updated, I usually like to leave this on best for viewer and then I like to make this the newest video, not the playlist. So I'm going to click on the playlist and you know what? I'm actually going to delete this. I'm actually going to delete this by clicking on this and then selecting delete. It has been deleted, right? Now to add another element, just click on this area and then it's going to add another element. Now I can either choose a video, I can choose a channel or a link. But this is actually the channel right here, so no need of adding the channel. But if you decide to add a link, you can just click on this. But I think I'm okay with the video. So now on the video section, I'm going to leave this on default. You notice it says uh, most recent video. And if for some reason you want to edit this or you want to remove this, you can always edit that. And if you want to choose a specific video, just scroll down and you are going to notice where it says choose a specific video. So when you click on choose a specific video, it's going to give you an option for you to search any different specific video. So I'm going to select this one. I think it's actually the last one. So this one is going to give best for viewer, which is probably going to recommend the viewer to watch something that they like to watch or they have watched previously. And guys, there is no need to add another element because we already have a um, channel icon here, which is actually our channel. So if I click on this element and click on channel, you can notice it's going to search for channel so i can choose just about any channel because the reason why it's showing this option is because i already have my channel displaying so it's giving me an option to actually search a different channel so i can just type ts tech talk so um this channel i'm currently working on is trust oka4 and this is ts tech talk so um i'm going to bring the channel down here i can either put it in the middle and then I'm okay. And I think it says uh, custom. So you can add whatever you want on it and you are good to go. So once you're done, just click on save and it will be saved. So this um, end screen actually displays in the end of your video. So I think it actually automatically mentioned um, TS Tech Talk right there. So, but that's fine. And then another one is um, card. Now card displays anywhere you want to have the card. I'm going to choose specific video. So I'm going to come to this particular timeline and I'm going to add a 
card by clicking on this plus icon and then i'm going to select video i usually prefer selecting videos so um it just displays on the on the on that particular section and you can actually add a customized message but i usually don't like adding customized message i like to leave it so that it's going to display the default um, channel title so i'm going to come right here click on this plus icon and then add channel even more so um guys there is actually limit to adding cards i think it's actually um on default i think it's five either five or four at the point it was five and then they let i increase it to four so i'm going to just add different card at random um, i'm going to add one more you guys could actually check it but i think the maximum is five cards so this card is going to display at this particular timeline once it gets to this timeline it's going to display the card on the top area so you can do well by telling people to actually click on the card and watch the other video if probably that is what they are looking for you can watch some video and you hear people saying if you are interested in this click on the above link and it's going to take you to the video this is actually what they mean so this is card so when you're done just click on save it's going to load up and it's going to be saved so now this has been saved and there is no need for you to save your video because it's actually saved automatically so this is all how to add your ad and your your card and your end screen on your video on pc so if you have any question please leave it in the comment section hopefully i'm going to be able to answer each and every one of them and thank you guys for watching i'm going to see you on my next video please stay safe and peace